Hello everyone and welcome to Thoro Newspaper Analysis which is brought to you by Lossico. So today we have only one article to be discussed at the major length which is India Nepal relations in a new transition. So as we know that recently uh, the uh, external affairs minister uh, Gwali uh, Mr Gwali he had visited India on 15th of January uh, who is from Nepal uh, the Nepal external affairs minister. So what major discussions have been taken place in re reinforcing or uh, strengthening the ties between India and Nepal and what new transitions or new steps have been taken or have been discussed in this uh, direction will be discussed in this article and secondly we have the news and flash column for our prelims exam so if you're also preparing for judicial services examination you can have a look at the lord of the courses which is the judiciary test prep course from law seco the link to this course is available in the description box below you can have a look at the landing page and from there itself you can download free study material for your own preparation as well also, we are doing, doing very well into our courses for CLAT, All India Bar Exam, SEBI, etc. You can have a look at them too. So this is the multiple choice question from yesterday's discussion. Which of the following is not a function of the proposed bad bank? Your options are to help the commercial banks to deal with the NPAs, which is the non-performing assets. B, to lend money. C, to take deposits. And D, both B and C. You can write down your answer in the comment section below. So this is the descriptive question from today's, uh, today's discussion. Discuss the areas of coordination between India and Nepal as friendly nations. You can write down your answer in a word limit of maximum 250 to 300 words. So 2020 marked China's unprecedented aggression with an aim to counter India's conventional edge in Nepal and South Asia at large. As we know that from the month of May and June, the standoff at Ladakh region and Galwan Valley and this entire uh, northern, uh, you know, the Ladakh side border, which India shares with China, it was into uh, a great part of it was into uh, concern and it was brought into tension when China's army of the, uh, you know, the People Liberation Army of the China, it moved towards the Indian side from the line of actual control also it's it knows very well that india has an uh, it has a conventional edge when it comes to the relationships with nepal and also other other south asian countries see India and Nepal are known as in roti beti. You know, they also, when we commonly call us that they share the roti beti relationship, which means that a lot of people come from you know, Nepal to India to work in India. Then a lot of matrimonial relations are also uh, taken. They also take place between India and Nepal. So historically, India and Nepal have shared a very good relationship. And if we talk about South Asia also, then India has been a very important source of various things for South Asia. And uh, for all this uh, collaboration and coordination, India has been a very important part of the entire South Asian region. But lately, China, uh, through its various kinds of efforts, um, sometimes positive and many, most of the times through negative efforts, it has actually tried to sabotage this very relationship which India holds with Nepal and other South Asian countries. So Nepal's Minister of Foreign Affairs visited India for the sixth meeting of the India-Nepal Joint Commission. Now here, uh, this is the entire discussion as to what mainly the bi uh, bilateral relations were discussed. So it, the dis uh, it was discussed in the meeting about early provisions of vaccines to Nepal. So India, as we know that India's Covaxin, uh, Covaxin and uh, COVID shield, uh, they are... And now they have already we have already started uh, serving people with these vaccines. So India has promised that it would be giving an early provision of these vaccines to Nepal as well. Secondly, development partnerships in the expansion of Motihari Amlekhanj petrol uh, petroleum products pipeline to Chitwan. So basically, this will be an underground pipeline which will be made from Bihar, the state of Bihar in India, Motihari over there, to Amlekhanj. Then uh, establishment of a new pipeline on eastern side connecting Siliguri in India to Jhapa in Nepal. So basically India will be actually sufficing the energy needs and India will be the one that will be sending on these uh, energy uh, requirements to Nepal. Then upgraded first passenger railway line from Jainagar to Kartha via Janakpur and also other uh, projects like the Raksol Kathmandu broad gauge railway line. So there will be a lot of bilateral transitions and transactions that will be taking place in the coming years. Then there are some other uh, important bilateral engagements as well like facilitating cross-border management of people and goods. Now, this is, as you know, that we don't need a passport to move uh, from, uh, you know, uh, uh, India to Nepal or either side or either way. So basically, uh, but then also it is very important that we min uh, maintain the security and safety of both the uh, states. And that is why 
uh, we'll uh, be functioning more or working more in um, facilitating the cross border movement of people as well as goods then the integrated check posts which are the icps at birgunj and uh, biratnagar so basically the integrated check posts they have multi dimensional functions like one of the functions is maintaining and facilitating cross border movement of people and goods then to maintain the security at the border of india and nepal so a uh, new integrated check posts will be coming up at birgunj and biratnagar then a uh, construction of third uh, we already have these and then construction of the third icp at nepalganj has uh, begun it has already begun then the construction uh, cp at uh, behra waha is to begin uh, then nepal relies heavily on india seaports for trading so that again will be one area where india can cater to the needs of nepal then we have the pancheshwar multi purpose project basically this will be very helpful for flood control irrigation and electricity we'll we'll just see all of these in location wise in the very next slide don't worry then uh, india support to cultural heritage projects in nepal uh, in the pashupati nath riverfront development and the bandarkhal garden restoration uh, at patan darbar then nepal supported india's permanent membership at the united nations security council so these are all the areas of coordination and collaboration apart from our culture and the historical and religious uh, you know uh, homogeneity that we have uh, then these are all the important areas of uh, coordination between india and nepal so this is the raksol to amlekhganj this is a pipeline also you now here this is the area from nepal this is india so it will all move, be moving from it is a 41 km pipeline which will be moving from here to ne amlekhganj in uh, nepal then we have the uh, pancheshwar uh, multi purpose project so it will be the, the three key benefits of this will be to both india and nepal hydropower irrigation and flood control so these are all the whereabouts of the pancheshwar you should remember the location of this as well this is important with this let's see what do we have for news and flash today dr v shanta has passed away so she uh, aged 93 was a pioneer in cancer care in india for cancer research and making cancer care affordable for all she and her mentor uh, s krishna murthy built the cancer institute which was the cancer institute uh, adyar in chennai from a cottage hospital with 500 beds out of which 60% beds were free of cost so uh, these are the awards that had been uh, honored to her uh, magsese award in 2005 padma bhushan 2006 and padma vibhushan 2016 you so you should remember this name and the cause for which she always worked secondly netaji's birth anniversary the union culture ministry announced that netaji subhash chandra bose's birth anniversary on 23rd january will be celebrated as the parakram divas that is day of courage every year because as we know that netaji subhash chandra bose was the one responsible for the indian national army and uh, this year will be his 125th birth anniversary so we are done for the day uh, there is an important thing that we would like to announce to all of you that we have now planned to shift the timing of this thorough newspaper analysis towards the morning session so hopefully you will be getting the uh, news analysis by 11 or 12 at the maximum and uh, that is why this will uh, we hope that it will cater better to your reading habits and reading needs for the newspaper so thank you so much we hope it was a good session for you stay tuned with lawseco